Guys, I can't tell you how many solo missions I've been on since we built this boat back in September 2018. Every time I go out, I have the intention of making a video for you guys, but I just don't catch anything worthwhile. Until this very moment, this Mulloway has christened the boat on a solo mission for me. You've seen me trolling around a little bit and now I've collected some live baits. And I'm still out here on the bait grounds but I haven't really seen any big archers besides dolphins. So I'm thinking about maybe just go for a little bit of a troll around again quickly. If I don't see anything I'm going to go back into the seaway and see if there's anything on the pipeline because it should be high tide at around about uh, 7 o'clock I think. So good time to hour either side of the tide to chase Dewey's on the pipeline from what I've been told anyway. After spending two hours inside the seaway and live baiting for Mulloway over the pipeline, and even flicking for flathead on the run out tide, I couldn't find anything. So I went back out the front to the bait grounds to try my luck again.
That's a good fish, guys. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> if I can go back in a minute. If I intend keeping a fish like this, I like to bleed it first before I put it on ice. This reduces the amount of blood that ends up in the meat and gives you nice clean, fresh fillets. given up. I was up at 5.30 this morning, got on the water at about 6 o'clock. The sun was already coming up and I thought oh, I'd probably missed the time for dew fish in the early morning. Decided to come out here anyway and get some live baits from this spot that right now. I even trolled a hard body around for some mackerel. Stayed out here for a couple of hours. Catch my breath. And then um, Almost on the turn of the tide, I went back in and just dropped some baits in the pipeline, did some jigging, couldn't find anything in there, but I was waiting for that bite time, which was between 10 and 12 o'clock today. Came back out here, 10 o'clock, had a, a dead bait on, trolling him around real slow, couldn't see anything on the sounder, and then eventually I saw a couple of arches, so I dropped out of gear. Let my bait drop down to the bottom and you beauty she was hooked up so i'm very very happy it's been a long time since i caught a fish so absolutely no talking during that because i didn't know what to say so i quickly wanted to go through what rig i was using just a single circle hook and I'm pretty sure that's a probably about a seven i've got a glow bead after that got a nice slimline um, sinker there so I control it so it's nice and smooth in the water uh, 60 pound leader here up to a swivel and then 60 pound leader on my main line to 35 pound braid so basically I got live yakas this morning and they all died because I don't have an aerator in my little bucket but that's fine I just hooked him through actually I'll show you how I hooked him I didn't go for round two, so they're dead, but I've hooked him through the bottom here and back up through that nice hard bit at the top, through the nose basically. So hook facing up, doesn't look very nice because he's all, all dead, 
but basically he'll troll through the water like so so he'll just swim along troll nicely and I might even do that again my line seems pretty good it's not chafed hook's still sharp although the knot is a bit chafed so I might redo the knot and then we'll have a troll back over here see if we can't get another one I'd really love a mackerel although I don't have wire on so it'd probably just snip me off straight away next one I get I'm gonna go easy on it because I don't want to keep the next one so if I do catch another one I'll just go nice and slow we're in about 20 meters of water here at the bait grounds off the seaway so if I go nice and easy on him his swim bladder shouldn't pop out and I should be able to release him all right guys I'm not gonna push my luck or be greedy I'm just gonna go home with the one big dewy which I'm really really happy with like I haven't caught a good fish like that in so long I just I can't tell you how long it's been actually probably since Rockhampton catching that big threadfin salmon that was like the last amazing fish that I caught I've caught small stuff here and there out here off the Gold Coast but it's been a long time since I've caught a good fish so that explains the no talking during the fight anyway so I'm gonna wrap up the video here guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you like it hit the thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one so i want to weigh this guy because it's um pretty girthy look how fat it is dennis has just come home so he can help me out let me put this here she's on zero all right oh i might even be able to do it just here same Twelve point five kilos. Not bad. Not bad at all. centimeters guys that's freaking awesome